At first glance, you can quickly see that Trayvon Thomas is a triple threat. What's the matter, man? You worry? He acts, no. sings, and dances. But a closer look reveals this 17-year-old Brooker High School senior has been on a near impossible mission since he was nine years old. Well, when I was nine years old, my mom went to prison. Um, she was given a 10-year sentence for drug trafficking. Um, so yeah, that was really hard. Uh, yeah, because um, she was a single mother raising me and my sisters. And then um, when she went to prison, then me and my sisters were separated. With three children from three different fathers, the family scattered. Trayvon ended up with his great aunt. There's my aunt and me, and then um, my three cousins. And then my oldest cousin, she has a godson type thing that I don't really know what's the relation, but um, she keeps him and takes care of him. So um, yeah, it's sort of tight. And I share a room with my, <laughs> I share a room with my younger cousin. Rising above his situation has at times been a dark and difficult road. Yeah, like it was a great upbringing with me and my sisters. We were all close, a really happy family. So like when that happened, I was just shocked and devastated and I felt lied to and betrayed and there's just so much going on. Like, yeah, and it was around Christmas time. And so you imagine like a nine year old, like having their mom taken away for Christmas. It was just sort of. My dad. Like it was just all just a yeah, really crazy time, and really hard like to deal with. And just even though he never knew his dad like, well, another big blow trail. came like, for wow, Trayvon I, just a few I, years I, later. He died when I was in middle school, actually. He died in the eighth grade a few years ago. Um, but he wasn't really there much to begin with. Despite losing both parents, Trayvon has learned to depend on others, like his Booker dance teacher. Balled my eyes out, and um, yeah, she just sort of, she like, she just gave me a really big hug and just sort of sat there with me the whole time I cried, which was like 45 minutes straight of just me like, and this ear just like balled my eyes out, and um, that that there just made me realize that there's so many other people that really care for you and that can just that serve the same purpose as a family. Trayvon lives off a $75 a month social security check. And unless you beg him, you'd never know how he's been able to completely turn his life around, earning him one of his biggest supporters and advocates, Dr. Rachel Shelley, the principal here at Booker High School. When I think about Trayvon, the first thing that comes to mind is he's exceptionally humble. Okay. He's president of the Honor Society, has a 4.2 GPA, is a star in the VPA program who's won Best Supporting Actor and Best Understudy Awards. He's an AP Scholar with Honors, is in the Booker Dance Hall of Fame, attends Academic Olympics, and oh, he's this year's homecoming king. Eagle really cannot soar without the resistance of air. And even though he's had so many difficulties and trials and tribulations, I think in a sense, it's really made him stronger. He is amazing. And I, I really worry about him. I worry about him. Academically, he's a superstar. He recently received several accolades, not only from College Board, but here at Booker High School because he's doing well academically. Advanced placement, dual enrollment. Literally, he is a mathematician. He can major in engineering do exceptionally well, but he loves acting. His number one college choice is Elon University in North Carolina with its top-notch theater program. How is it that he's going to receive a flight ticket how can you pay for a flight ticket that will get him from Sarasota to the school that he was selected in? Additionally, I know it's in the North. I worry about winter clothes for him. I worry about him being committed and dedicated to his schooling. And we know tuition's going to be paid for and possibly room and board, but day-to-day -day expenses, money to wash your laundry, things along those lines, and $75 a month is only going to go so far. Oh. 
Shelly knows with just a little help, Trayvon will soar high, a student who begged to clean the school in order to earn his prom ticket. Well, he said, Dr. Shelly, I said, yes, come on in, Trayvon, how can I help you? He said, well, I really, really, really need a job. I said, excuse me, I will work, I will do whatever it is that you want me to do. I will clean your desk, I will clean the office, I will sweep if you would allow me to go to the prom. I said, are you asking for a ticket? He goes, yes, but don't, don't just give it to me. Let me work for it. Sort of make, you've got to make yourself a person that people want to be around and people want to help. It's really just about hard work. His mom is in prison. His father is deceased. He technically is on free and reduced lunch, or he is socially economically deprived, but he is gifted, he's intelligent, he's brilliant, he's well-rounded, and with a little more support, just a handout to help him up, he will be successful. I would love to see someone adopt him over the four years that he's in college to help build that sustainability. Sustainability to give this eagle's wings just the right amount of lift to keep him soaring high. You just really have to, like, you have to believe and have faith that, like, that you, it, 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 it can be done. Anything can be done. Like, never, never, ever, 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 like, let yourself lose faith. Like, really, just, you just can't let yourself go up. You really can't. Because, like, once you give up, then you just... Like, that's the worst thing you can do. You just have to. You just have to keep going. You just have to keep trying. Because when, like, when you want it and you work hard, it'll all come. Everything happens for a reason. Everything totally happens for a reason. Oh God! Where is your Jesus? Oh my God! Oh God! <laughs> If you guys ever doubt that I trust you, <laughs> you deserve a smack. <laughs> sit, don't talk, sit. Not you, Trayvon. That's pretty fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs>